what specifically stood out to us was um, just our gang tackling. You know, uh, they had a 1,900-yard rusher, and every time you freeze the frame, we may have missed a tackle, but there were 10 dudes just in a circle ready to swarm them. Um, D-line, backers, they just took the coaching really, really well, and every single play they were doing their job, you know, hitting with the way they are supposed to hit and making sure that they had the responsibility taken care of. We all had our each other's backs. Well, I think the effort was what it was and, and uh, how we uh, wouldn't give up. We, we just fought every down. We gave uh, the state as much as I think we could give them and uh, very proud of them uh, uh, to hold uh, that kind of offense to 16 points. I think our kids did a good job. Uh, and to have uh, a running back like State has and sort of hold him to 73, that's a pretty good day for the defense. We just uh, we were minus the other two phases of the game. <laughs> State beat us in the, uh, their, with their defense and their special teams. They, they took pretty good care of us in that category. It was a good challenge. You know, we, we always want to play D1 level to see what our own abilities are like. So I think the thing for us was just to be patient and be confident in our own ability and know that we have good coaches surrounding us and just to take their coaching. Well, Trey Wheeler banged up his uh, non-throwing shoulder. A little doubtful right now. And... Uh, Anthony Lawrence came in, did a heck of a job for us, and so did uh, Chris Wilson. I thought both of them did a good job. They did different things well for us. So uh, we'll use both those guys. And we, we've got a promising freshman that we may throw in there. Who knows? That job is not very solidified right now. So we are giving everybody a, a chance at this job right now. We weren't really happy with the way the first half went. And so we, we felt like that uh, – Anthony's going to get his shot. It's his job to keep or his job to lose. The keys to winning are just being consistent. You know, um, it's a good team. They come in here in the first half every single year. You know, we just got to do what we do, play how we did against State, make sure that we uh, read our keys the right way, do our technique the right way, and just accept the coaching and everything should be okay. But they're definitely a good opponent. Uh, well, I would hope that we would get to this game and go into the fourth quarter with a nice lead and not find some idiotic ways to make the game very hard. We've done that the last three years. Uh, I think the key for us again, number one, don't put the ball on the ground offense. I mean, we had six turnovers with State. Well, hell, if we'd have played Little Sisters of the Poor, we can't win with six turnovers. And, and you certainly can't do that with a team of their caliber. Uh, we've got to establish a running game that's going to make our passing game go. And defense, uh, special teams, we can't give up uh, cheap touchdowns that way. That's that's just that's a backbreaker. And hopefully the defense will play the same way they have played.